young life tragically at an end. Neighbors and friends gathered at Hrobla's Wop to bid farewell to baby Lisa Kanya. The infant died earlier this month at the hands of her grandfather. The family is traumatic. Uh, as I said earlier, that we didn't expect uh, that uh, this will actually degenerate to this level. They are traumatic. They are very saddened by what happened. We are trying to keep the family together. Uh, today is the final uh, farewell day for the baby, Kanye Mchila. Baby Lisa Kanya's mother is undergoing trauma counseling. Since day one, when the in um, incident occurred. We were there from, the, from day one in Olifansuk. We went out there. Uh, the entire leadership of the region um, went there. Uh, I went there myself on the, on the Saturday, trying to assess the family. We also uh, got assistance from different government departments in terms of counseling the family. Mjila's 48-year-old husband is currently under police guard at Kimberley Hospital. Police say he also sustained burns during the attack and stabbed himself in a suicide attempt. He was charged in absentia and will appear in court after he's discharged. Mjila, the last victim of this ordeal, is likely to be buried next weekend. Nebelungu Nuwapane, SABC News, Hroblas Wap in the Northern Cape.